You drink some of them. Hey photographers, I'm Gabby. Uh, I'm Brandon. And we're the Foxes. Um, so first of all, this is the very first video we've ever made uh, with our faces on it. This is like take 20. <laughs> this actually probably is like take 20. Anyway, um, yeah, as you anyway, can tell, the drinks are almost gone. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Let's do this. <laughs> all right, so we each shoot with two cameras and uh, they are Sony A7 III's. We freaking love these cameras. Amazing. Amazing. They're really tiny and ergonomic. But as you can tell, um, the size doesn't really make a huge difference because we use big lenses. Yeah, everyone's always like, oh yeah, you switched to Sony, like so much smaller and lighter, right? And we're like, no. We're like, no. All, all of these lenses you see here, they're bigger and heavier, aside from this one, they're bigger and heavier. They do make smaller, lighter versions of these lenses if you go with, you know, an f-stop of 1.8. You'll see we shoot on a lot of prime lenses and we just kind of wanted to like chat a little bit about why we shoot with prime lenses. If you aren't familiar, um, prime lenses just mean you're, it's a fixed focal length, so not a zoom lens. There are a few reasons we like shooting with primes. They're faster, uh, meaning that they're better in low light, so you can open up that aperture to f1.8 or f1.4. We personally shoot on a lot of f1.4s, and that also gives you more background blur, better bokeh, um, a lot of depth to the image. And just kind of going off that a little bit too, like aside from the image quality, you as a photographer are going to be better, you know, you're, instead of just like standing there capturing a moment or a scene and like zooming in and out. If you have a prime lens and you can't zoom in and out and you have to physically move yourself like towards the subject, back from the subject and move around, you're going to be constantly recomposing your shot and thinking creatively about every single shot that you're taking. Um, and that's just going to improve the, the composition of your photos and your images as opposed to just like kind of being a little bit lazy and, and just, you know, just standing there and zooming in and out. Totally, totally. So I'll, I'll typically take the 24 and the 50. Um, that gives me something really wide and something kind of mid-range while Gabby will be on like 35, 85 or something. Other times I'll shoot 50 and our telly. This is the 2414 G Master by Sony. I love this um, for getting like wide full body shots when we're in kind of uh, areas where space is limited and I can't stand back too far away. I also like using it um, when we've got some nice sunset light to shoot with. I love shooting into the sun and playing with flares and sun stars. I just think for a 24 millimeter to be this small and this light and this good uh, is pretty spectacular. This is the um, Zeiss Sony 50 1.4. Um, this is the best 50 by far that I've used. Beautiful for like both portraits or wider stuff. Um, you really can't go wrong shooting with a 50 millimeter lens. I mean, you could probably go out and shoot an entire lobement on 50 millimeters and the, the gallery would look amazing. And then the other lens that I'll shoot with uh, quite a bit is this Tele. And um, a lot of people have 70 to 200s. We opted for the 100 to 400 um, just because it gives us a little extra range. And it does that. <laughs> And then when you put the lens hood on it, oh it really, God. then you really look like a professional. And a you can just be like... A professional stalker, that yeah. is. It's f4.5 to f5.6, so it's not amazing in low light. Um, I'll throw this away, you know, when it gets to be around like blue hour. It just He'll just like, chuck it in the trash. I'll just throw it, you know. So one thing I will say about this lens when you're editing photos, um, I always increase the saturation of colors and I always up the contrast of the images because the image quality is not as like punchy and contrasty and amazing as the primes and that's just, you know, what you're going to get with a zoom lens. Um, so one thing to you know keep in mind as you're editing photos, but 
Doesn't mean it's not a good lens. It's a freaking incredible lens. Sweet. So um, the next the next lens along the line that we use is the 3514. Um, we're taking this video with the 3514. So I'm gonna pop off the 3514 and show you guys um, what it looks like. This is the Sigma 3514. Um, we shot with the Sigma 35 1.4 uh, when we were shooting Nikon and we freaking loved that lens. It's a great wide angle lens, but it doesn't distort quite as much as the 24, so it's, it's the perfect lens to use when you want to capture a lot in your image, um, but you don't want to distort maybe like the people in it or if there's trees around you. So yeah, it's a great lens. 100% recommending throwing 30, a 35 millimeter in your in your kit. We've also played around with the Sony 3514, the Sony 3518, and the Sigma 3512. And to be totally honest with you, we freaking love the Sigma 3514. It's amazing. And then the other lens that I love shooting with is the 8514. This is my favorite lens ever. This is the, we shoot with the Sony G Master 1.4. I love it because you can really, you can capture a really intimate moment and, and create the feeling of being really close and in there with your couple without actually having to get up in their, in their space. I also really love taking um, wide landscape shots with the, with the 85, you know, and, and the bokeh on this lens is so buttery, so amazing, so beautiful. It will literally make you start drooling. Um, we also have the 85 Zeiss bodice lens. It's, it's a 1.8. We've shot with both of those lenses back to back and I'm gonna pop it off and show you because we're taking video with the um, 85 1.8 as well. So let me pop this guy off. So like these are the, th this is the size difference. It's an incredible lens and if you want to save money and weight like 100% the Zeiss 8518. Alright, so what do we pack everything in? Uh, basically we've got three different types of backpacks and depending on the kind of elopement we're doing we'll pick either one or two to to bring out everything with us. For all the elopements that we shoot we generally pack everything that we can into this mountain smith bag. This is mostly for transporting our gear and traveling on a plane. It's not the lightest weight backpack but it's really efficient for like transporting gear. This bag is amazing. <laughs> yeah. But since on an elopement we're wearing our cameras on, on harnesses and everything, we don't need this backpack. So we usually take these two bags. Um, this is another Mountain Smith and it's basically just like one big backpack. This is just our like shove all the shit in it backpack. It's got huge drink pouches, good carrying system. Um, you know, you can fit dogs inside of here. Um, that was probably the, the most precious thing that this backpack has ever carried. <laughs> There's all kinds of like loops and stuff. Strapping dresses to, the, to this bag is incredible. I really can't say enough good things yeah. about it. Like it is, it's perfect. I, I love this bag. Um, it's And the carrying system for it is really nice too. Um, it's not super heavy and bulky. It's mm -hmm. thin, um, but it's still like really comfortable and there's a lot of like straps so you can adjust it to your torso size. Usually like, <laughs> Brandon's carrying the heavy one, and then I'm usually carrying this one, and I'll throw, oh my god. Oh, there's an Ico poop in it. <laughs> cool, so yeah, so while, so while Brandon's probably carrying the heavier one. Not always heavier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, usually this thing gets pretty heavy too. I'll, I'll throw like all of the booze um, and then like a three liter camelback. A lot of times this will be the only one that we have with us just because we don't need to take extra blankets and jackets and stuff. But this will carry our speaker and some beers, yeah. all the essentials. So yeah, so those are the three packs and depending on the kind of day we're gonna have, we'll just pick you know our, our setup based on, on that. All right, so getting into um, you know, the other kind of stuff that we bring with us on elopements, 
Number one thing that every elopement photographer should have in their bag is headlamps. We've got a ton of these things. Got, gotta have these in your bag. We each have these uh, dual harness straps. No, they're, they are not Black Rapid straps. They're not the $150 Black Rapid straps. They were like 20 they're bucks. They're the $15 Yeah, Amazon. Uh, Amazon. I honestly can't see the justification to spend $150 on the Black Rapid when these are so great. We've got walkie-talkies so we can communicate with each other while we're working. We can also give a walkie-talkie to a couple. G-Fox to G-Fox. We've got this like little thing of like cold weather gear. We've got hand warmers, a ton of gloves, extra hats. This is amazing. It's awesome. There's so much shit here. Uh, blanket. We got our elopement duffel. We don't bring this out hiking with us, but we leave it in the back of our car and if any of our couples need anything in here at any point in time, we're prepared. Umbrellas, bear mace, puppies. This is like a whole Emergency, emergency kit. kit that has like health stuff and uh, beauty stuff, right? Oh yeah, like like face blotting wipes. This We've is, got hair this ties. probably deserves its own thing. Yeah. But um, maybe we'll do a vlog post on it. Hammock, little battery powered lights, bungees for you know hooking up uh, dresses dress. to backpacks. A raincoat. We got a uh, we got a white rain jacket for the brides. We've got a bunch of these like clear umbrellas, trekking poles, micro spikes for everybody. We throw everything into our bag so that we're prepared to, you know, help help everyone um, like have all that stuff for their for their elopement and not have to like go buy it just for one day. So uh, thanks for watching. We're gonna link to everything that we talked about today uh, down below and Hope you enjoy heading out there shooting elopements with all of this amazing stuff.